Um, I was stood at the back of the hall during your conference speech in Brighton, mm. and um, I was thinking to myself, listening to you talk and the policies that you were announcing, that, that this was the most socialist speech I had ever heard mm. um, a Labour shadow chancellor give, and it went down very well in the hall. Um, how do you describe yourself nowadays because you have described yourself as a marxist in the past um you obviously describe yourself as a socialist um i mean i sat i i mean you would say that i would say this wouldn't i but i I was stood there thinking that this is red in claw socialism something like this country will have never seen before and the journalist in me thinks well i'd love to see this introduced just (laughs) just to cover it but but do you do do you think that it it is that or do you think no this is this is just sort of ordinary social democracy it's pretty uh, so i describe myself as a socialist i think i'm in the tradition of the atley government Uh, And some of the policies that you look... If you look at the history of socialism in this country, it goes back a few centuries. So in my speech, I think I made reference to the cooperatives. You know, we're going to double the co-op sector. That goes back to Robert Owen, you know, Mm. three centuries ago. I think I made reference, yes, to public ownership, and that is the traditional atlee commitment on public ownership but actually i said no we move beyond that we want a different type of democratic ownership that we have um i made reference to uh, making sure that people when they created the wealth they had a fairer share in that wealth so shareholders as well, shareholding collective shareholding again that goes back to a debate that we've had will happen the economist um, for the last 20 odd years about the stakeholder economy so i i see I'm in the mainstream of the tradition of British socialism. And that speech, I think, actually laid the foundations of what is taking the ideas that we've developed within our movement into the 21st century. And, I, and It is socialist, though. There's no doubt about it. And that socialism is, is about making sure that the concept of, of an irreversible shift in wealth and power in favour of working people, that's what it's all about. But you don't self-identify as a Marxist any longer? Well, I keep saying I'm, I'm almost trying to rehabilitate the reading of Marx in well, this country. Well, I know you said that last time we came on, but, but it's true. I, I think people... I mean, in that case, surely you, if you believe in the basic tenets of Marxism, you, you shouldn't be ashamed to say, no, yes, I am a Marxist. Well, I think that then doesn't portray the breadth of my understanding, because my understanding is that I'm a socialist, and that contains an element of an understanding of Marxist analysis mm. of capitalism, of course, but it also contains that concept of cooperation from Robert Owen, that tradition, also contains that concept of how you create a society which is based upon a wide-ranging culture, so William Morris, and then those other elements of scientific analysis etc by the webs and others so that breadth of um, socialist practice in this country i celebrate